Ciao darlings, Eugene here. Just got back from work and I decided, since I have a little bit of time, to share my unboxing of Yet Again with you. Uh, so many have been asking about Yet Again and what I thought of it or I haven't even opened it up yet. It's been sitting here for a week and I, I did want to do this unboxing and I finally come up with some time, but it's just been so hectic and busy and very short of chaotic, but I wanted to share with you first a my scent of the day, something I've been talking about for years and years and years. And uh, today I just kind of revisited its beauty. And this is from Frederick Mull, uh, Un Fleur de Cassis. And uh, man, oh man, you want to talk about challenging and unapologetic. This to me is one of the uh, most gorgeous florals that I've ever come to experience. Um, and this is the reformulated version, which is toned down from the vintage. I was uh, really seeking a vintage, couldn't find one. They had, I don't know, reformulated or whatever, but it is just so hard to come by now. Um, and I'm almost glad that I did get a reformulated bottle because the vintage was um, extremely difficult for me to wear. As much as I loved it, it definitely challenged me in a way that, you know, at times it made me ill. Um, I remember the first time I wore it, I had to leave work, you know, after a couple hours, I just, I couldn't take it anymore. I rushed home and uh, just to wash it off. But even though, you know, it was challenging, I could definitely see past that animalic uh, dirtiness and, and see the beauty in it. But it did have kind of a, not kind of a full on, fecal note, you know, the kind where you pull out. Um, yeah, so they've kind of pulled that fecal note out and now it's more of a sour, briny, salty, um, kind of a grandma, you know, sitting next to grandma in church vibe. Uh, very dry, almost pasty. It's got that pasty accord. It's, it's just, all, you know, it's, at times it's it's overwhelming it might be too much especially in the opening and in the mid there's there's something about it that even you know even this this concentration still churns my stomach if i my stomach is feeling empty i can start i can feel it start you know just going i, I better put some food in there or i'm going to start dry heaving uh, there's just something about this that um is special in that way. I, I can't even explain it. It kind of makes uh, no sense at all to say something turns your stomach, but you love it at the same time. It's not something I can wear very often, you know, twice a year. I, I definitely crave it around this season, around this time when it's just turning into spring. But um, Cassie, Mimosa, Carnation, Jasmine, uh, Rose, but it's all very abstract. I can't really pick out one floral more than the other and you know in the opening it's kind of got this salty wet cardboard accord and um which ultimately develops into a leathery floral that just gets really dry um pasty uh jasminey indolic it's just really bizarre uh, peppery almost feel some black pepper in there but it's it's definitely not you know it's not mass appealing it's it's it is a retro floral uh something from decades and decades ago or something that would have been popular back then anyways i i recommend it to anyone that is a lover of um old school florals i i can't speak highly enough of it for me it's a five out of five absolute masterpiece adore it that's that let's move on to yadigan i've had uh i have no idea what yadigan smells like um never smelt it never seen a bottle in in real life we don't have a yadigan counter here in canada i don't even know why why is that if if somebody knows please leave a comment why don't we have a yadigan counter um, is yadigan niche is it designer i, I know absolutely nothing about this brand i was I'm lucky to be able to find a um, bottle of Pour On Home for very cheap. You know, they're 40 or $50 and I picked it up and uh, it was absolutely brilliant. A very simple lavender vanilla cord 
a little bit spicy, but I can definitely see it's inspiration for a lot of modern lavender vanillas. And just based off of, you know, that or on home, I, um, I, I felt no problem blind buying Yadigan and third man, third man. I, I, I picked up the last time. It's absolutely gorgeous. So let's give this a whirl. And just looking here on for Grantica, I can see the chords, woody, aromatic, green, smoky, herbal, fresh and spicy, which seem to be right up my alley, all things that I love. And um, I kind of Googled the word Yadigan, what does it mean? Such an odd name. I really like this packaging. It's very simple, but you know, something about it stands out. This here is all textured, almost feels like snakeskin, you know, really nice, nice feel. I mean, for, I think this is like 50 or $60 Canadian. And Yadigan is a, a, a sword that um, was used during the Ottoman Empire. And they kind of, oh, look at the bottle. Bottles, I love these uh, Caron bottles. Looks like kind of a racing stripe going down the center of that bottle. Um, reminds me of, you know, old vintage splash fragrances for men or aftershaves. Well, let's just really quickly read the blurb on uh, Fragrantica. It says the fragrance named after the sharp curved Turkish saber Yadigan is an invitation to join an adventure on the traces of the Ottoman horses. It's exotic. Mysteriously, sonority is reminiscent of Oriental and adventurous destinies. The clinging, warm, bold, and sensual scent resembles an extremely rare Oriental wood that was used as an incense in Hindu homes for centuries. Sounds brilliant so far. Yadigan's wood notes mixed with the subtle undertones of herbs such as galbanum, patchouli, and incense. Artemisia and mint make this a perfect fall and wintry scent. Yadigan was launched in 1978. The nose behind this was Vincent Marcello. Perfume rating 4.13 out of 5. To me, it sounds brilliant. I, I hear Art Artemisia. I'm instantly reminded of Declaration. I, I see green herbs and some spices, patchouli and incense. This is definitely right up my alley. So let's give this a whirl. The house will reek of Yatagin. <sighs> okay, I like it. It's definitely old school. It's very sharp, uh, medicinal. I'm going to say leathery. It's definitely a fault time uh, fragrance. Hmm. <laughs> it's very old school. I want to say this is another Sheepra. Like I just, it feels very mossy and, and it's got green, green tones. resinous textures but very smooth at the same time earthy and leathery um i can definitely see the patchouli and that's kind of where i'm, I'm thinking a shebra you know citrus patchouli and oak moss but it doesn't really say the genre actually it's i i see oriental I, I, to me, it's more, in, you know, I don't really get the vanilla and the ambers quite yet, but I definitely say this is more Sheepra than it is uh, Oriental, but that could definitely change Parfums de Caron. So there you go. Um, just a very quick, quick take on, on yet again. I mean, so far, so good. I do like it. I'm, I'd like to see how this develops on skin and how it plays out. Um, just thought, yeah, but uh, reading up on it, you know, reading the Ottoman Empire and 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 um, how it was inspired by by you know Turkey came into there. So I definitely thought this is going to be rich and bold and full of spices, and I can see that now. It is quite spicy, and it's definitely uh, old school masculine. There's nothing. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing mass appealing or uh, modern to this whatsoever. So I I can't imagine anyone under the 
age of, you know, 25. Even that's kind of young for a fragrance of, of this stature. But there you go. I'm still dying to smell from Caron. Is, uh, it's smelling really good. I'm really enjoying this. It kind of reminds me of Queer Entends from, from the newest Guerlain a little bit. There's got to be a huge leather note in here. But I don't remember seeing leather. Um, yeah, Tabac Blonde is definitely one that I'm really uh, dying to smell. And I just can't find it anywhere online for sale. Either the whatever concentration that comes in. I know the, the Pure Parfum is golden. It's got golden reviews. But um, if I can get it in Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum, I would definitely... Um, love to find that. But anyway, let me know your scent of the day. Let me know what you guys think of these Carones. Uh, is Tabac Blonde worth searching? And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.